We don't know if the team is good enough or they, they were so good that they were holding all that weight. They either are going to pop off in PL or they're going to actually feel the weight of what it is to be an esports player. Our team needs to experience real blood, sweat, and tears. The Knights are holding strong. They've got 10 kills already. And he knows where it is. Easy. Kobe! Knight, who, for me, almost captain consistent. This has been a super active game for the Knights. 12 total kills. They're still a bit of a brawler team that will put up a good fight. Knights have finally got that high ground. Oh, perfect position. Straight. Looking for the quick picks. They're the team with the highest kill game yeah. in competitive game. I think they were able to 24 or 25 but chicken dinner and global loot league. Knights, a huge round for the Pittsburgh Knights. Finally, the Knights find some success and on the back of a huge kill count, 16 total kills. Pulls out his own oh, you down. Oh, He's getting no. wrecked by Boxing. Who gets the knock? Another player who actually top fragged in the recent event in Las Vegas, Grammar. Yeah. The best left-handed player in the world. You can see Grammar has a perfect tangle. He definitely popped off during Leicester. He tied for the most frags in the tournament. And we still see Knights is just so strong right now. They're collecting so many kills already at seven. Our goal is to be the best team in PUBG in the world. I feel like in the next half year, we're going to see a land win from the Knights. Compared to how they've played so far, they're going to be taking a land win. The goal for the team in PEL is a minimum of top three. Anything else is failure. I'm Voxic and I play for the Pittsburgh Knights. Knights continue in forward towards Dignitas for now. They're still trying to find this angle. Voxic finding Wookie Boogie. Since when have I played video games? I've been playing video games for a while, um, since a young age, uh, just all kinds of games and kind of progressed over time to the point where um, I found PUBG and I fell in love with it and I've just been grinding it ever since. He started his career young. He joined our team when he was 17 years old. He came from New York. Uh, didn't know anything about what he was doing and what he was stumbling upon. I know that he wanted to be competitive from day one. He decided to move away from home and move to Pittsburgh, which is a huge commitment. He had to convince his parents that he uh, would pursue his dreams, that he would go to online college. Anybody that can convince their parents to let them do that can convince three other players to focus uh, and drive to be some of the best in the world. I'm Carl Birgersen, um, my nickname is Drayden, and I play for the Pittsburgh Knights. I mean, my role has always been to be in the back with the hook seat and have uh, all, all the two guys in front. Carl Birgersen, um, helming from Sweden. He started as a uh, <laughs> window frame maker, <laughs> but was a former CSGO main and now turn PUBG. And he, was, he too was with Vox and climbing the ladders of PUBG online and that's where we identified him. Dreadon is more kind of the support in the team. He makes sure that everyone knows we're in the game and focused and helps us if we need something. Voxic is more like the long range fighter and the IGL. Reels is the new addition to the roster. He's gonna be playing uh, close with me. So it's gonna be basically my dual partner. So Reels is a pro in other games. Counter-Strike, Smite, Armor, Overwatch, PUBG, you name it. He's been on several teams, Fnatic and SK, and I'm really uh, appreciative of him to be on our team. When Knights first asked me to join, uh, obviously I was excited to play in PL and it's like the best team, it's like, it's kind of what I've been playing for, is to you know be among the best and to come here and play it's just gonna be, it's gonna be like an awesome experience. Marcus, the newest player on the team, Reels. Um, he is a very, very seasoned veteran in esports, and I think that he's an incredible addition to this team. Um, my role with Knights is the coach and manager for the PUBG team. I pretty much oversee their their schedules, their day-to-day -day operations, uh, doing VOD review, uh, just anything I can do to help them uh, become the best players that they can be. 
Aflux. Uh, he's been a part of uh, Ghost Gaming and uh, Simplicity. Simplicity ended up uh, first in the NPL uh, qualification at LAN. And Ghost uh, won uh, LAN as well. So I think he's gonna be a great coach for us. My role in the team is to entry frag. That means that I have to get the first knock out of the enemies. And uh, so I basically play close range. Krema is a fighter. He is a warrior at times without a war, but in wartime, he is who you want on the battlefield, and the Knights uh, are lucky to have him. Do I think that the team can win? Certainly. They have every tool in their capacity or, or in their belt to be able to win. And it's up to them to find that drive and sort through all the bullshit that they had to deal with in this last year and a half. Shots. Um, yellow is yellow is really good. Starting tomorrow, we're going to be uh, competing in the PEL, which is the PUBG European League. And um, lucky enough, we were one of the few teams invited, actually, from uh, PGI World Finals. And um, it's just going to be an awesome experience. We're going to give it our all and we're going to go hard. This is a lot. This is 20 games a week, three weeks total, 60 games. It will definitely show who the most consistent and best of the best teams are. And we hope that we can be one of them. Uh, we're looking to do well in our specific league to um, hopefully see to the uh, World Championship slash Super Bowl uh, slash World Final for PUBG. If they are on this ship and they continue to be as they are previously, then they're going to be stagnant. This preseason is do or die for this team. Rustamar goes down, but now we will see the Knights, they have to do something here. They've been sat for a while, it's time to show their heads. We go back and forth, one for one, two knocks. Maraku, last man standing here for NIP, and they are gone. He still manages to get a shot off at the end. It will be the Pittsburgh Knights who will take themselves an easy win in the end. We're just so happy that we got off to a good start, and we can really see all the hard work we put in, you know, come to life. The back of the Pittsburgh Knights, and it should in the end be an easy flush. He's gonna try and cook an eight. Oh no, he shut the door! He shut the door! <laughs> day one and day two were um, some really good days. We had a lot of uh, really good calls, a lot of good teamwork. We were like just getting into it, kind of like practicing, testing the waters, feeling out the rest of the teams, feeling out our own potential, and you know, just trying to find our footing really in the league and, and find out how well we're performing. And, just keep trying to improve and, and learn from all the games, step by step. I'm allowed to get back to full help, needs to be careful with the one player on the off angle, now he sees him now. Check, check, check! Check, check, check! check. All check, all check. Ooh, that's going to be the push now on Kramer, Kramer gets in there and flushes it! Kramer takes Tixu down, it's a one-on-one! -on -one. Oh, Kramer gets inside, he's got no health left! Timmy realises he's got to go for this, he's got no nades, three Can't first stop. aids, Kramer's going to get the, the heal off in time, Reels is going to give him the information, he says he's right on the pole, he sees him right there! So now it's down a straight 1v1. Kramer's been in this position before at GLL. Teamy should have hold W there and just gone for it, unfortunately. Now Reels has been able to feed that information to Kramer. He can just hold the angle, wait for him to go round the corner. Gets the initial. Pincer. Back and forth we go. Comes round the corner. Keep pushing, boys. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Teamy. Win strike, win the game. Oh, Yeah, Kramer, he gets, um, he definitely gets emotional. Like in the um, the one v one in one of our last games, he definitely was a little upset at that, obviously. But he's um, he's our top fragger, and he always has been. So I'm I'm sure he will bounce back. That game, we kind of, well, I felt like I misplayed a little bit uh, at, towards the end of the game. Uh, I felt like I made a little mistake uh, that maybe cost us the game. But overall, I'm not I'm not really uh, getting too caught up on that. 
I think we played it really well for what it was and we were lucky to come second so we played it good and just got to take what we can from it, take the positives and you know keep going forward. Day four was um, obviously our worst day by far. Around the side, but NIP VAR comes in and wipes out Voxy Kramer and Trader. The player did go down. If he's been hit from the back, spins around on a pinhead. There's one. Will he get his second? Yes, oh, he does. But just like that, three members of the Knights, they're gone. So close to being flush face cam, they do manage to take the Knights down. Day four last day was, it started off really rough. I feel like we didn't get any luck with the circle. We had some bad rotates and unlucky team fights. There was a lot of there was a lot of stuff that just didn't go our way on day four. And that happens, you know, and you just have to try and take that on the chin, uh, use it as motivation to make you improve, get better, and you know, just use it as best you can going into next weekend. So we're currently in eighth, and I think. It's, uh, it, it's kind of fair where we are. We're not really far behind in points, even though like we was fourth on the previous days. But, you know, I, I really don't let that bother me too much because we're so close with all the points. You know, one good game, a couple of good games, even a good day, and you're going to be right back up to the top of the leaderboard. So even though we're eighth, I'm not, I'm not really thinking about the leaderboards too much, to be honest.